you doing today? I'm your boy Magically Retro and today we are going to be um, talking about the three different um, kinds of tape types. Now basically um, there are actually four but um, there is a type 3, a type 3 tape and um, basically that was a failed experiment and I'll show a picture right here but I do not have one of those. They're kind of rare and um, I would not pick up one of those so let's just uh, throw out the type 3 even into this list but basically I'm going to be telling you about the differences and um, um, why you should choose um, a type 2 um, over a type 1 tape. Now type 4 may I just say are very expensive but they are very good and um, I actually haven't opened these yet I just got these in the mail and um, I'm very excited I'm going to open this one on camera um, to show you guys um, you know just kind of um, unwrapping a really rare one now these things I've seen a pack of just three of these go for like eighty to ninety dollars and I'm like wow and I was able to pick two of these things up for thirteen dollars I was like I cannot take off a deal like that and um, you can actually find some um, sometimes there'll be um, some of these for really cheap and um, just make sure you um, are watching out for these things because these things are always popping up um, for sometimes even cheap so let's just get started into this list. Now first off we're going to start with um, um, type 1 cassette. Now I know this is a Dan Fogelberg uh, type 1 cassette. It's not a blank type 1 cassette because um, once I figured out the horrible um, things about type 1 I never bought any type 1 mixtapes. Now I'm going to be showing you the differences in um, the tape colors in a little bit so you can see how to tell the difference between um, type 1, type 2, and type 4. But first off, let's just talk about the sound quality differences. Now they all have, when they were first um, releasing um, the type 4 tapes, um, this was kind of later on to their um, whole, um, when CDs were first coming out, and whenever you buy a new um, blank cassette, either it's type 1 or type 2, or even maybe type 1, later on on its um, cassette, um, the death of the cassette, they always put CD, ideal for CDs, because they always tried to use that as a marketing strategy, but it, it really didn't really do anything, it's just kind of there just to be like, oh, this could sound just as good as a CD. And if you have the right equipment, to be honest, you can make it sound as good as a CD. If you have a cassette deck, a good cassette deck, and um, you have the proper audio to play it through. Now, first off, I just really wanted to open this thing up, so we're going to do that right now. Oh, I love, who doesn't like opening a fresh brand new cassette? Um, I, I, I've talked to everybody who owns cassettes, and um, they just love opening a fresh Oh, cassette with that great plastic wrapping on it. It's like Christmas Day. Ah. So here's a Type 4. Um, I have never actually owned one of these before. I am super excited to actually own one of these. Um, now, here are, it, they'll say um, either black and then it goes this, and then I believe it's either brown or it's just regular color. Now, these are, this one's Sony, this is TDK, and um, they make a whole bunch of different brands, but I saw this one, and this is probably the best one to buy. It's from Sony. I normally go with TDK because I really like their sound quality, and they're the cheapest to go with. So, let's first start off with this on the top. I'm going to open these up here. May I just say that the Type 4 is actually a teeny bit thinner. Um, it's... I mean, this one is actually pretty lighter, not gonna lie. I did not notice that before. Um, let me move these cases out of the way here. Um, now, I'm going to show you the tops of the cassettes. Now, this one um, has one hole, and they normally have a little uh, thing on the end of it, so then it shows that you can record. This one has this, but it has a little gate um, hole right there. And this one is just full of holes. This one's got the... It's got these two holes in the front of it, and it also has these two same holes. So, like, if you don't have the option to switch between tapes on your cassette deck, it will automatically read as a Type 4 or Type 1 cassette. Now, I am going to, um, now I'm going to show you guys the coloring of the tapes. Now, I'm going to show you the very big difference between Type 2 and Type 1. This one is super brown, the Type 1 is super brown, and the Type 2 is really black. Now I'm going to also pop up this Type 4. Here, let me move these out of the way. Now, Type, may I just say, 
Type 2 and Type 4 are very hard to compare with. They both are very black, um, but um, they still um, have their slight differences. This one is a lot darker. This one is a little bit lighter. Um, but I really do like how if you come with a brand new mixtape, they come with all these little stickers so you can put them on. Oh my gosh, look at how yellow the, the paper is turned. But, I mean, if you're going to buy a cassette um, for your mixtape, um, I would totally recommend buying this right here, the Type 2 cassette tape, because they're the cheapest and easiest to find. Um, I actually bought a whole uh, new um, order of all of these because um, I ran out of all of these because I, I either give them to friends or I uh, use them all for all my uh, recording and mixtapes. Um, I record mixtapes with these things all the time. These things are the best to record mixtapes on. And um, Type 2 sounds very, very, very good. But if you want the very best sound, and if you're an audiophile and you have some cash laying around, pick up the Type 4 tape. It is a very good quality. And like it says, you can, you can make it sound just as good as a CD. And um, it's the very best bias that you can buy. And um, may I just say... This is a very, oh my goodness, it's a very sleek and very nice design. Um, I'm, if you're going to go with a brand, I normally just pick TDK because it's either the cheapest and the best. But either way, Sony is still a good way to go and whatever you find. Fiji, I know, does some too. But anyways, if you guys did like today's video, please do not forget to subscribe and like. Thank you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.